Bienvenidos, mises. Regresé con otro video. Es tu favorita, morenita. Regresé con otro video. Today's video, we are going to be doing the Rare Beauty Review. Oh, so, I did get the box. Here it is. Okay. I got it. This is the box here. Rare. Rare Beauty. Listen, I'm excited. I just got the package. Mira que belleza. I had the pleasure of hopping on a little Zoom call with the one and only Selena Gomez herself. She is such a doll. It was so good to get a perspective on why she's joining the beauty community, how much love she has for makeup. It was a really beautiful experience to get to know her and just to kind of get a spiel of this new moment, this new journey for her, Rare Beauty. Uh, I'm really excited about this video today. I'm really excited to test out today's products because if the products are as beautiful as she was, as she is, I have nothing but high expectations for today's video. If you guys are excited to see my honest review of the new Rare Beauty Colección, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, y vamos a comenzar. I'm gonna start off with the Always On Optimus Illuminating Primer, this one right here. All right, first impression, let's... Okay, how does she feel? Ooh, is this like a pearl? Yeah, you can even see it the second I apply the application. I'm like, oh, so I'm just gonna go in. Okay, I kind of put too much, but. It's priced at $26. I wanna know if this works. First of all, I'm already seeing like a glow, which is really impressive. Very lightweight, very lightweight. It's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. Uh, yeah, lit from within glow. I see it immediately. I mean, you can see my T-zone. Immediately, I'm glowing. My people who do struggle with a little bit of hyperpigmentation, I wanna see what this foundation is gonna give for us. Um, because she is about embracing all of you. So I do want to embrace all of me. Um, so if there is any imperfections and we just need to know that this is not, this is not a full coverage foundation. We do have here three shades, liquid touch, weightless foundation priced at $29. First of all, I'm not mad at this. Like it just feels good. En la mano como se siente bueno. You see, let, let me see what this, ooh, look at that doe foot. Look at that doe foot. Look at that doe foot. Things like this excite me. It excites me. I'm looking at the shades and I think I'm gonna go in with 450N. I'm loving how like my skin does look glowy, which is very different. Hold on, where's my sponge? Okay. And we also have the sponge here, which is like really, it's really big. Hold on, let me see how much it is. How much is the sponge? This is the Liquid Touch Multitasking Sponge priced at $14. And let's give a little, you know, BTS up shades. There are 48 shades. I don't have all 48 shades in front of me. I have three shades that I feel like are pretty good in shade range for me. Um, I'm looking at the gradient of the foundation shades. And Selena, when I spoke to her, I was like, you better had come out with shades for everyone because if you are gonna do anything for the first time, especially with makeup, make sure it's inclusive, okay? I feel like a lot of people have learned a lesson. First time, first impression is the best impression, especially when it comes to makeup. Um, I am interested to see all shade ranges, you know, see how the undertones work. I'm gonna let you guys know how this undertone is gonna work, how these shades, how this shade in particular is gonna work for me. Again, this is the shades I have here. So the shades I have here is 450N, and I'm just going to, this is 450N, which I think is gonna be the one I use. I also have here 480W. Right here. I have one more, oh, I knew it. And then I have 500N. It definitely is a liquid foundation formula. Again, I'm really excited. I even think I could use the 500N to contour, but again, this is not gonna be that type 
a video. I really feel like we need to like make sure that everyone's aware. Like this found this is not going to be full glam. This is more like you know, like skin-like foundation, skin-like maquillaje. Okay, lo fuimo. I'm gonna go in. I'm not gonna color correct, so manchas, be free. I'm gonna go in. I don't even know. Do I put on a latati? Do I put on a little bit? Like, how do we do? Okay. Honestly, I am, I don't hate it. Hold on. Cause it did give me skin. It's giving me skin. And I'm also trying to train and reprogram my brain right now and think skin, not full coverage. Cause if you know anything about me, I'm full coverage. <laughs> um, but we are about to see y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go a little bit more, you know. Don't you sabe? Voy a ir como un poquito más. I love how it feels. It does feel lightweight. You should get this foundation. I really do feel like this is like for my girls who love my girls and my boys who love skin. I think I might even be that person right now too. I know I said I was gonna put a little bit, but yo no puedo. I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna go in. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I think we got covered, y'all. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of like let the foundation do what it do. Don't mind my weave glue. It definitely is out here trying to sabotage me. So I'm just gonna go in with the brush, which is priced at $28. And I'm just going to, ooh, I love applying the foundation. I think the, I, I would actually recommend using the brush for the application um, if you have textured skin. All right, so I'm just making sure my mouth area. Honestly, you guys, it's different for me. Do not get me wrong. I'm over here like, I want more. I think we're good. It doesn't completely cover but I'm not mad at the coverage, if that makes sense. Like, I see this as a everyday kind of foundation, like on the go. All right, so this is what we look like. First impression of the foundation, this is very lightweight. I think I applied, I try to do at least I don't. I, I'm used. I'm used to saying pumps, but I I use that cook. I use that uh, doe foot uh, all over my face for as much as I can, um, and it gave me a gorgeous skin like application. Like I'm not mad at the coverage. It's more lightweight. Again, I'm trying to reprogram my brain to not think full coverage and think skin. I do see skin. I still see some discoloration right here, um, but it gave me. It gave me coverage. It definitely gave me coverage. This formula is a buildable coverage, you guys. So if this is something that you need just to be like on the go, again, this is gonna last you a cute minute too. Because that doe foot is so big, it's going to be able to apply all over your skin. You don't have to go ham like I did, but I'm just, I do the most. Um, but I mean, I'm, I like it. So far, so good. It does give me a glow that I'm not used to. I, I'm so, I'm itching to put powder. I'm itching, I'm itching to put powder right now, but I'm not, I'm gonna stick to what we have here. Let's jump in into the concealer. Next, we have the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealers priced at $19. These concealers also come in 48 shades. Okay, Selena, okay, thank you. Okay, so what am I thinking here? Am I thinking skin? I think I'm gonna go in with the shade. Matter of fact, let me just swatch the shades I have here. This is shade 480, 480W. Hold on, clean my hands off. All right, so this one seems like it could even be, it could have been like a color corrector. Mm -hmm. That could have been a, a color corrector for sure. Matter of fact, <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there. You guys, this feels so nice. Es diferente, don't get me wrong. 
Esto es diferente para mí. Tú sabes que a mí me gusta mi fufu y toda esa vaina, pero so far, it's a little. I'm feeling like, oh, I could be out here como este modelo and do skin. Okay, so that was uh, 480W. Okay. El próximo aquí tenemos 500N, 500N. So let me just go in. Okay, this is a little bit red as well. I might have to contour with one of the shades. And then this is 450N, which is a little bit lighter. Right there. Okay. What I am seeing, I do see undertones. I do see range, which I'm really happy about because, you know, most times, sometimes, oftentimes, when they when people think dark shades, they think orange, reds. But I'm seeing neutrals, I'm seeing cools, I'm seeing warms, I'm seeing golden. So I'm I'm happy. So far, so far, so good. Now I'm thinking, what am I gonna do in regards? to face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with 450N in the inner corners, right here, just to brighten. And then I'm gonna go on the outer corner and use 480W. And it's gonna give me kind of like the perfect blend of like that glam-esque kind of look. Cause you can see it's a little warmer on the outer corners, I think I see, all right. The way I have, don't mind my dog. <laughs> the way I have dirty this sponge. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I do see something. So they also have a concealer brush here that we can, um, I applied this side with the sponge. I'm like, sure. I am not mad at this diamond shape. Okay, el próximo vamos a the, the brush. I feel like we can go a little lighter. It 450N, which is, I'm gonna assume neutral. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. All right, and we're just going to buff it in. So it's oxidizing, but it's still giving me like this wetness that I'm not used to, but I'm not mad at. Ustedes lo ven. Okay, how are we doing? Let me just make sure I'm dragging it. I'm gonna go in with brows. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Deep Brown Pencil. So this is, we have this side here, which is more like an angled, more of like an angled shape. And then, oh, this one twists. Oh. Okay, that's different. Usually we just have a spoolie. This is a brow harmony pencil and brow gel. So this is really impressive because like I said, nine times out of 10, there's usually a spoolie on one side and then the pencils on the other. This baby comes with the brow gel and the pencil in one. I think that's pretty impressive to have a brow gel and the brow pencil in one. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna apply because usually I wanna know what the brow gel is gonna look like and I wanna brush my brows up. First, so do we brush our brow hair up with the brow gel and then go in with the pencil? Geno's it, but I'm in that. I guess I'm gonna brush it with the brow gel first. And this is priced at $22. Oh, hold on. Oh, there, this is potent. Okay, so this definite, this is the color, como se dice? This is deep brown. I'm gonna go in and now just kind of like fill in a little bit, like right here.
Wow, this is a really, this rectangular shape makes it super easy to kind of like find the areas where you need to fill in. Those brows are thick. They, they, they are done, they are full. That brown pencil and the brow gel are extremely potent. I'm gonna go in with the concealer that I use to brighten and just clean up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with 450N to brighten what I use to brighten and I'm gonna use that to clean up my brows. Again, do you do you guys see what the skin is giving? It's giving skin, <laughs> which is very new to me. Ooh, look how good that brow looks. Oh, that looks good. Don't look at this one. We're gonna fix it right now. <laughs> Brows just be wanting to act up. Stop playing with me. All right, you guys, las cejas me encantan. Like, I'm obsessed with how the brows look. I'm a brows girl. I feel like the brows is what really can make or break a look. I think this is definitely something that I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, moving on, I'm going to contour. So I don't have here a shade to, of concealer que yo usaría to contour. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation shade that I said would be a little bit more towards my contour shade, which was 500N. And I'm gonna use that right here. And I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm just going to work it into my skin. Just take my brush right here. I do see the warmth in my face. I'm gonna go in next with the Perfect Strokes Liquid Matte Liner. Okay, this is what we look like. Ooh, it's un lapicero. Okay, I love this already because it feels like a pen. I feel like I, write, I can write script. Like it so far. Let me go in and just give myself a little, a little wing moment. Vamos a ver. All right, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with the liner. It's super black. Yeah, I know how I feel about a black liner that gets the job done. I love, love a liner. It's, I love how it feels. It feels, like I said, like a lapicero, a pen. Um, like the way I'm holding it, it just makes, it's really comfortable. It's priced at $19. I love how black it is. It was super easy to just kind of like go in and do what it was supposed to do. Not mad at that at all. Since there is no mascara, I am gonna go in and use a mascara that I have at hand. I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna pop on some subtle lashes. I'm gonna go in with these Huda lashes, Huda Beauty, these are the style Giselle. I'm gonna pop these on real quick. Okay, so I don't see any eyeshadow. So I'm gonna, let me see how this looks. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty. Uh, this is their thrilling color. This is their matte lip cream. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go over my eye. Trying to stay within the rare beauty familia, you feel me? And I'm just gonna use this as like a tint for my eyes. Ooh, that came out pretty. And you know how sometimes you use like a lipstick? Back in the day, people would use like a lipstick and it felt really stiff and sticky. For a matte formula, that feels really nice. You see it? I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this side.
All right, we're moving on to liquid blushes. I've actually never done a liquid blush. I'm a girl who has texture. I don't really play. That he's laughing at me. Yo no hago eso. Liquid blush in me or like liquid in anything. If it's liquid, it's because it turns matte. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna play. I'm gonna dive. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I have here three shades. I have the shades great grateful. Oh, I love the names already. And even when I spoke to her, there was a sense of calmness that really just relaxed me. Even as I'm doing this video, I'm like feeling her energy and it was just really lax and calm and chill and beautiful. Um, hold on, I have like eyelash glue in the back of my head. <laughs> but I, I definitely, I sense that when I think of this collection, I, I sense the, the calmness and the love. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and wipe my hand off for the second time. Dios mío, yo no entiendo porque yo tengo un reguero acá. So I'm just gonna go in and use and swatch the color Grateful. Okay. Oh wow, that is a big, big, big. This is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, priced at $20. Next color we have here is Lucky. Just more like a fuchsia pink. I'm just gonna leave them all here. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty, okay. And then last color I have here is Faith. You see, like the names are just like they're they're so appropriate for her because I'm like as I'm as I as I remember speaking with her, if there were names for this collection or how she named them, it makes sense. All right, so these are the blushes. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys; I don't know which one to use because these are all three colors that are extremely out of my comfort zone, and I'm like. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Grateful, Grateful, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand, like so, and I'm just gonna... Do, 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 do. Again, I'm not a girl who uses blush, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is all very new to me. I love blush, but I definitely... Cream creams? Me dan como un... <laughs> if y'all been following me, you know this is very different for your girls, so... Again, I'm just using it and I'm applying it on my ring finger and I'm just doing small little dabby motions. All right. And I'm just gonna take the round side and I'm just gonna... And I'm literally gonna go into the apples. I do think this is makeup you can use with your hands, for sure. Oh, actually, I'm not mad at it. Okay, nosotros estamos, you know, acostumbrados para el full full. I said we we used to our full full that this is like wet. <laughs> this is so wet. Um, it's good to try new things and see where where we at because the foundation she is giving me skin <laughs> i thought we couldn't get more skin like and more dewy and more just like oh we're gonna do liquid highlighter here we are look at how gorgeous these are okay all right i'm gonna just swatch these again so next we have this is reflect these babies are priced at 22 dollars. this is reflect next we have flaunt Again, I'm obsessed with the doe foots of all these applicators. Next, we have Captive. Captivate it. Captivate. Captivate. Dios mío, yo no se lee. Okay. And finally, we have here Transcend. So these are the swatches. I'm going to go in with Reflect. Again, I'm going to do the same method, and I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand. I'm going to... As you can see, I'm also using my ring finger because if you didn't know, your ring finger is the most delicate finger and it won't do any tugging. All right, I'm gonna just take like a small little eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to... Okay. Yeah, I see it more. So on camera, I don't know if you guys see, like that moment right there is the illuminator, which is again, very different for your girl. I am not used to wet like skin. Like a little bit of that and I'm just gonna apply it under my brow.
Next, we have the Liquid Souffle Matte Lip Creams, and these are all priced at $20, and they feel so gorgeous. I applied a little bit of the matte lip cream on my eyelid. The color that I used was thrilling on my eyes. Can't see it much, but we can just go back in and apply a little bit more. Okay, so the first shade we have here is thrilling, which is the, eye, the one that I use on my eye. This is thrilling. Second shade I have here is strengthen. Next color is Transform. And the actual applicator and like the actual product feels like if it would be a matte lip and it does feel cream-like as well. So this one is Transform. Proximo, which is more like a Scarlet, which is Inspire. Mm -hmm. Next we have Fearless. which is a nude. <laughs> Lastly, I have here is Heroic. Okay. And these babies come in 12 shades. They're all priced at $20. I'm gonna go in with Fearless. I went ahead and lined my lips. And we're just gonna... Oh, it feels so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this feeling. It does feel like a souffle matte lip cream. I think I want to go in with a little bit more blush. Can't believe I'm saying that. This is a very different for me, but I don't hate it. I'm just going to put it more in the front. I'm just gonna go around. All right, last, but no, this is actually last. <laughs> I'm gonna lock in my face with always an optimist. I love that name. We should all be optimistic every single day. This baby hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes the skin. So the skin actually feels refreshed. So we're just gonna go in. Let me see. Okay. Let me just take these pins out. Tati wants me to add a little color, so I'm just gonna go on top in my middle. Ooh. Oh, and the color that I went in with was Heroic. I'm gonna go back in and retouch my eyes also have here and I didn't get to use them uh, with gratitude dewy lip balms again I didn't get to use them but they do look hydrating this is the color complement support they do have a little bit of pigment on them thankful Let's see. yes and lastly the color I have here is honor which is a clear balm they all feel super nourishing, super hydrating, lightweight, not sticky. Maybe I could put a little bit of the clear one. I just put that on my teeth. <laughs> Whoa, this is so different for me. I don't even know where to begin. I am not mad at how I look. I'm so not used to seeing my skin look like skin, which is something that I think is extremely important for us to remember what we look like, because don't get me wrong, like I love makeup and I love the skin I'm in, but I do love how makeup transforms um, and kind of covers up the blemishes, covers up the texture, but I feel like my skin looks healthy. Y es algo diferente para mí, pero no estoy brava. Like, I don't think it looks awful. I'm I'm really shocked at the coverage of the foundation. I'm not mad at how it was buildable. It feels lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on. And you know when you think glowy, liquid, illuminating, all those things that sound like liquid and sticky, none of it is in this collection at 
all. Like, I use the matte lip as a eyeshadow just to kind of give me a little bit of a tint. Um, yes, it's moving. Yes, I can kind of, like, you know, retouch it. But even, like, the blush, this is very different for me. I am not mad at it. It's definitely something extremely out of my comfort zone. What do you guys think? What products were you leaning towards? Again, a lot of these products are something that I'm sure if you like the way I do my makeup, that you're probably doing the same makeup. You're probably wishing I put some powder, but I really wanted to stick to what I have here. The only thing I didn't use is the Blot and Glow Up Touch Up. I am not mad. I love how the skin looks. The skin looks hydrated. I'm a... Immediately, once I applied the primer, I immediately saw like my skin glowing. So again, if you are someone who struggles with hyperpigmentation, pores, texture, I don't think you'll hate this collection. I really don't. Again, like I have some texture right here. I'm not mad at it. I think we should normalize seeing these things and being comfortable in seeing our skin peek through through makeup you know it's great to always do full coverage and i think for me this is also for me i'm always used to seeing the concealer and everything but i feel young i feel healthy i look glowing i i'm i'm i'm, I'm really impressed i'm i didn't think i was gonna oh, no shade but again selena your girl i only do full full i only do matte i only do snatchery but this is a really good change. So, what do you guys think about this collection? Are you guys on tu cuarto? Ustedes van hasta su cuarto. Déjeme saber abajo. You guys spending your coins? Are you not? Um, I definitely encourage you guys to try the collection. It's definitely something that I'm sure we could all use. I love the message behind it. Their goal is to raise over a hundred million dollars in the next ten years to help increase access to mental health services. We need to speak more about mental illness and mental health and why it's important to take care of ourselves. Um, and I think it's a really important thing or it's a really admirable thing when someone of her caliber is able to stand for something beyond beauty and this product this collection definitely speaks to that it speaks to just loving oneself it speaks to embracing all of you if anything all every side of you um the good the bad the things that make you insecure but still bringing it forward and still making you still feel like yourself and even for myself i'm like tempted to put on that baking powder, tempted to put that contour, which I'm gonna still do. But it's also important for me as, as, a, as someone who's in this position of being an influencer to be comfortable in my skin and to be okay with being seeing texture, seeing skin, seeing pores and that's something i'm not mad at and the key messaging and the mission behind this collection is something i am 100 in support of if you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below what you were saying and again thank you rare beauty for allowing me to you know have the collection and speak on it it was a pleasure speaking with you selena as well and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe Mwah. adios